In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the DFT properties. If G of n is having a, the DFT as G of k, H of n is having H of k. The first one is always linearity. If I alpha into G of n plus beta into H of n, then it's very simple. We have to add with the DFTs alpha into G of G of k plus beta into H of k. Next one is time shifting. That is G of n minus n naught is there. So here W n k into n naught. So remember in the previous uh, transforms or Laplace jet transform here minus we are getting minus here but in the DFT here minus here we will get plus that is WN power K into N naught always WN will come next one is generally it is not a frequency shifting but we can say the DFT shifting so that's why I am giving you the name frequency shifting so WN power minus K naught into N into g n so it is g of k minus k naught see minus minus in a dft <coughs> next one is circular convolution so if it is convolution at the input side so the dft side it will be multiplication next one is modulation so in the uh, time domain it is multiplication so in the k domain or dft domain it will be convolution <coughs> next one is simple the last one parcel relations that is if n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 mod of x of n whole square if i know the dft then 1 by n sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 mod of x of k whole square right <coughs> it is looking like a same as Poirier series next this one is a very important uh, property <coughs> if x of n is real then x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k always remember x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k what why it is necessary is suppose if i want to find x of 3 so x conjugate of n is 4 so 3 means so i will go for n is equal to 4 so in place of 3 so 4 minus 3 what is this x conjugate of 1 only if i see the previous problem x of 1 we got minus 1 plus 3j x of 3 we got minus 1 minus 3j which is nothing but conjugate of x of 1 right so that's why we can use in the uh, gate previously also they asked some uh, x of n is given find x of 8 or x of 15 etc so x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k remember this is very important property next in the DFT, I said in a time shifting, this time shifting is not like a linear shifting. This is generally it is called circular shifting, right? In DFT, because we are having only finite sequence, so it should be, when you are shifting, you may get zero, but we should not lose any information. So that's why in DFT, it is only circular shifting. How it will be? Suppose if there is a x0, x1, x2, x3 here, that is x of n is like this. If x of n minus 1, it is generally it is called right shift. So, this will be shift rightward 1. So, in place of x of 0, x of 3 will come. In place of x of 1, x1 will come like this. In place of x of 3, x2 will come. In place of x of 3 or x of 0, x3 will come. That is like this. x3, x0, x1, x2. That is like this. In place of 0, I will get x3. In place of 1, x0. 2, x1. 3, x2. If it is a left shift, that is x of n plus 1. Now, it will become opposite like this. So, in place of x0, I will get x1 here. So, that is a left shift and so on. Left shift, left shift, left shift. That is, in place of x0, I will get x1. Right? Then, in place of x1, I will get x2. In place of x2, I will get x3. In place of x3, I will get x0. This is a left shifting. n plus 1. If it is n plus 2, one more time. n, n minus 2, one more time you have to do. The most important is circular convolution. How to do the circular convolution? So we got so many questions on this also in previous gate from the DFT. G of n is here, H of n is here. So what is the circular convolution notation is G of n convolved with H of n with circle. Now there is a formula. So we need y of 0 to y of n minus 1. Now we have to do one either g of n or h of n circular shifting that is first i will take h of 0 h of 1 up to h of n minus 1 like this then this h of n minus 1 will start the next column so h of n minus 1 then 
it is following like this and so on h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 and so on h of n minus 2 then again next column will start with the last uh, value of the previous column that is h of n minus 2 then it will follow like this and so on last one is h of 1 h of 2 and also h of h naught right remember this now what how what uh, how to do it so g of n is given like this h of n is given this. whenever there is a arrow that means it is g of 0 1 2 3 this is h of 0 1 2 3 now first i will start with h of 0 1 2 3 so 2 2 1 1 so it is a column then the next column will start with this so 1 the remaining will be shifting downward so 2 2 1 1 next one it will start with this then it will down like this 2 2 next column will start with this then it will be down so once it is over then it's only simply multiplication so if i want y of 0 multiply this row with uh, this column so 2 into 1 1 into 2 1 into 0 2 into 1 like this so 2 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 is 6 next y of 1 so this row with this column next y of 2 this row with this column next last one this row with this column so we will get as 6 7 6 5 so always first one is start with 0 only so 6 7 6 5 so this is the circular convolution right so this is also a very important uh, topic in dft right so that is about the dft so remember these uh, properties as well as this this matrix form always so if it n is equal to 4 always remember this one right so that is about this i hope we got some uh, uh, basics about the dft so always we will get one one mark or two mark pakka question from the dft in any gate question uh, i mean gate set or gate so that is about the dft